Welcome to Imperium Galactic Survival and we're starting this video with a view from the rear of my capital vessel on this lava planet that we are currently exploring and just to give you an idea of the progress in the last part we were up here we took down this stealth outpost and what I've done is I've brought the capital vessel south and just further south to us there's a whole group of resources so what I want to do in this part is we're going to go out with the hover tank and see what we can clear up here you can see I've found some esterim there not excessively interested in the esterim but i'm hoping to find some of the other resources here probably is the zarcosium certainly need some more promethium and certainly want some the magnesium if i can get it you can see we've got 23 esterim on this planet as well so that is what i'm going to be doing in this part but first i want to say a big thank you to robert malone for being the most recent person to remind me that walking around with the eva boost on is not a good idea when you are fighting you can see if i put that back on you can see my armor value is 95 take it off it's 175 which makes a very big difference um i think what we're going to do is just put on the multi boost i think for the moment we've got radiation protection protection insulation boost not that it's helping that gives me protection up to 121 degrees and 14 radiation so i think that in place let's get in the hover tank i've i've, I've stocked up on ammunition again um, and what we're going to do is just take it off and i'm going to back out here um, and of course we're going to need to put the shield the shield should charge up over time and you can see the hostile drones around so what we're going to do is just use the hover tank to blow those drones away so that i can get in and get the resources or at least explore the resources that's what we're going to be doing i think going forward using the hover tank as a, for exploration especially on a fairly flat planet like this will make a big difference i did look into upgrading the capital vessel most of the capital vessels weapons are actually only useful for space so, so i think the hover tank is the way forward and we're just going to get in here oh come up how close have i got to get to this guy before we Everybody wakes up. Oops, on a rock. Right, more esterim. I think we can shoot up there. Ah, just like that. <laughs> gotcha. Of course, we're gonna do the a little bit of. Uh, old looting that's not bad power cell computer and some plasma ammunition and just take off again so I'm not excessively interested in Estrum but we can always come and gather that That they are defending the estrum deposit. I'm not particularly. What's this over here? Uh, we we'll just keep going. Right, this has got a question mark on it, so it could be just a starter base or another crash vessel. I think this could be interesting. Looks like there's a group of three drones here, so it looks very much like we have found another crash ship. So I would certainly would want the thrusters from this. No, it's just an engine compartment, which is the starter base. Oh, 
Okay, looks like there's four of them here. <laughs> gotcha. And of course, another advantage of using the hover tank like this is that because I'm not actually engaging with them, the it means that. What on earth was that? What just blew up? Yeah, because I'm not actively engaging them, I'm not triggering troop ships. Obviously we're going to have to um, unload some of this into cargo boxes. And just go back and loot this guy. Um, I don't think the engine compartment's going to give me anything because they tend to be empty of like oxygen and power. Uh, let me just come in here. Is there, um, yeah, it's nothing in them. And to be honest, is it really worth looting? Probably not. I think to get, get in, we've got to come around this side. I think the entrance is through here, if I remember correctly. It's got to come up here. I've got to watch the temperature. We're up to 130 degrees at the moment. And I seriously doubt there's anything in there. We've got a couple of grow plots. Ah, okay, I'm overheating. Uh, getting a little bit too overconfident. This just should be able to get back to the ship before I get too cooked. I'm just curious to find out what that explosion was. Um, I mean, I'm not seeing any damage to the ship. Yeah, we're overheated now. in here um, I mean, we're not overloaded with the I should I say we're not overloaded with respect to the power generation on this so that shouldn't be a problem um, where are we how, how are we doing got some resources over there Got that there. Uh, let's go and check out this resource here. And get a bit more height up to three meters so we can try and get across the top of these rocks. Just weave in and out. And the train's getting a little bit more trickier now because getting in and out of these uh, um, pillars will make life a little bit more difficult to navigate. Right, this has got a large mini. Oh, no, was that? Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, seeing I've expended some ammunition, we might as well go and collect him. Uh, get out of that. There, we've got a little bit of pataxid and some meat. A bit short of meat at the moment anyway, so. And that can go. Ah, oh, we don't have a fridge. Ooh, didn't realize that. Oh well. If the meat spoils, the meat spoils. Then again, I'm operating a lot further away from the capital vessel than what I would normally do with a, a hover tank. Let's just see if we can get in amongst here. Let's see what this resource is. There's another one of them. Ah. <laughs> Truthfully, I'm wasting ammunition taking them down, but it's fun. Right, this is a magnesium deposit. I certainly want the magnesium deposit. So let's just see if I can get that, that large minigun drone down. Then we'll go and get the capital vessel and move it forward. Oh, come on. Ah. Um, 
Right, I've managed to get myself trapped amongst the rocks. Uh, come on, let's get a bit more height. Uh, if I can get. Wait, you're meant to be going for the mini drone. Gun drone. Now this is okay. Back out. Back out. I'm trapped. <laughs> Um, oops. This is just wait they're just wasting my ammunition. I'm stuck. With, uh, see if we can draw the going this way. Um that's better. So guys, come come this way. Another fusion cell and some 15 millimeter ammunition. We'll certainly take that. Oops. And let's grab that. Right, what we're going to have to do now is head back to the capital vessel. I would certainly want that large magnesium deposit because most of the really higher level ammunition requires magnesium. So if we can get out of here. We need to head north back to the. Uh, where is the pioneer? There it is. Thank you. Remove on approach. There we are. So I'll just get back to the pioneer. Oh, looks like we found another large cannon drone. So well, obviously he's going to take up posi combat position, but he's just come unstuck. There's a plasma drone coming in as well but he's dead <laughs> so nothing else we can farm the drones go and farm you some more railgun ammunition uh, gonna grab him Some more plasma ammunition. Now there are spitting bugs floating around out on this plane, so I need, do need to keep an eye on those. There we go. Back in there, take off. Hang out the doors. Right, so we just try and get a line up with the ramp. Um, I think we should be okay. Just get a little bit closer. Um, wait for the door to open. A bit of a run up. And Please, yes, thank you. And it's just going to come in here, turn the power off, and pump, and try and, ah, got trapped again. Of course, what we're going to do is have a quick, uh, of course, what we're going to do now is just have a bit of a transfer to, well, this can go into the um, constructor out. That can go there, that can go there, that can go to constructor in, and this can go to weapons and ammo, um, Kronos tank, to get that, uh, raw food, got that there, not sure where we got refined pentaxid stored in there, structure out. 
there, structure in, put that there, and we've got a bit more railgun ammunition. I think the Merc, uh, who was going to take a look? Yeah, we can put the, what did I do? Where did that go? There is. I can go in there, give me some more ammunition for my railguns. And before we go, let me just have a quick check. Uh, 130 millimeter HMSL. I think I might still have some 130 millimeter. Nope. Um, 165, 155. We've got artillery shells. So we need some 130 millimeter HMSL. Let's make some more of that. Uh, you can go to the ammo um, which one is this I'm absolutely certain I've got some of these oh well we'll make another 60 of those yeah um, let me just check again I'm pretty sure I had some oops uh, not repair station uh, construct it out yeah there it is. Yeah, I knew I had some. Okay. Uh, I lost tank ammo. Yeah, I definitely would like to fix this situation with the ammunition lockers. In fact, I'd be very tempted to maybe take a look at building my own version of this. I really like the general layout, but at the same time, I'd, I'd rather like to customise it. Anyway, maybe as and when time comes on, let's just get some oxygen while I'm here as well. I mean, I am starting to think a little bit along the lines that the next time Elyon do a major update, which triggers a restart, I think I may actually, in that series, Put a condition that I've got to build all my own ships. Because it's, it's quite strange actually. The carrier, doing the carrier, has really, how can I say, triggered my interest in building. So maybe that could be a condition on my next build through. But all, every, all my ships I have to build myself. And then, and that will include a hover tank. I think that could be quite fun because then. What will happen is we'll have to start off with very simple ships and then over time we can evolve them going forward. Anyway, that's for a future Let's Play. Let's just concentrate on this one here. Now the problem we're going to have with this magnesium deposit is finding somewhere to land the capital vessel. I don't think we're going to get in from all these rocks around. No, we're not going to get in. How about over there? We may actually, I think what we'll do is, oh, there's a bit of a space here, and we'll drop down. Yeah. Ha. Here's the boys. Ha. Yeah. Stand up. Secure the perimeter. <laughs> see if we can pick up any of the bodies I will see the problem is is actually seeing them in this no nah, I don't think it's worth the effort yeah part of the problem is actually seeing them in this very red lap landscape uh, I'm just gonna just gonna pick up crops I haven't harvested anything for a little while. Um, berries. Um, uh, um, got the magic mushrooms or ordinary mushrooms, actually. They're not magic mushrooms. And, oops, and then we'll just go into here, play out for food. I mean, it's not like I've got a food shortage. 
and then just gonna There's the magnesium, so we'll just have to we can use the SV to get in really close. Um, I think it's under that rock, isn't it? Yeah. Kind of back up against the rock. Um, and we're going to get cooked outside so we can't afford to. So we're just going to shove ourselves into. Wait, all into there. Um, Merc MX. Uh, okay, hook you up to there. I'm pretty sure I've got my epic drill. And I'm just going to drill down and see if I can find the magnesium. There's the magnesium again. You can see it's grey. And um, what I'm going to do is just drill all this out, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm just coming up on the last few bits. It's a little bit difficult to see what is the magnesium, which is the ore, in this kind of red mist, but. I think I'm just getting the last few pieces. I don't get everything, it's not that important. I think that is just about it. Let's just try to scan it. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else. Oh, ha. okay. Not pick up inventory, it's full. Okay, we'll just get rid of the trash, the rock. Um, uh, just pick up that to pick up the magnesium. Obviously, I didn't realize that my inventory is full up. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna grab here. Um, a little bit low on food, but I think we'll be okay. Um, just getting up close to the pioneer. Um, and what we can do is just do a bit of an offload here. Uh, See, I've got, you can see here I've got what, just over 4,000 magnesium from that, which is very useful. And for that, I think I'm going to pick up some food. Got fuel, we're okay. I'm going to pick up some, oh, I'll take a cup of Belion cakes with us. Uh, take that. Take some of these with us. So I think what I'm going to do now is do a forward rec reconnaissance using this ship here. So let's just have a go look, see around where are we. So we're here. We've checked the engine compartment. Um, my instinct is to go south and see what's going on around here see what we've got in the way of resources uh, what we got here uh, ah. problem is is these large plasma drones and that um, gain some height pick up the rail guns Got a reload and bit difficult to see them against this background. Actually it's easier to see them without the famous last words. Uh, let's just get in range. Let's just gain some height. Get above them. Then we'll shoot down on them from above. Right, we're in range. Uh, 
Yeah. Jack. This allows plasma drone. Wow. Come. Die. Reload. Let's do a scan. What is this? Estrum. Not really that interested in Estrum, so. But I am interested in looting these large drones. If nothing else for the power cells. Uh, let me just come down here. And uh, just get in close. Well, that wasn't much, was it? Oh, well, good one. A couple of large power cells from that. Okay. Um. Now, where? That's the other thing I want to look at. I'm just going to go this way. Right, we've got a crash shuttle here. Probably not going to get much from this, but yeah, I mean, this is another starter building. Uh, not really interested. Uh, where are we now? But there, we got resources down here. And I think for the rest of the video, we'll just go freelancing with the Merc and see what we can find. In some ways, the Merc is a very good way to do the reconnaissance. I mean, what I would like to find is a, a Xerax hotspot with some interesting POIs in it. Okay, so we're just going to fly south. Actually, curiosity, what's the. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if that actually improves visibility, it just makes everything very bright green. We'll, just, we'll, we'll give it a go and see what actually happens. It, we've got a large minigun drone there. Uh, I mean, feel free to put in the comments whether you think this is better than the normal view. Whether, you know, whether it's sharper and clearer from a watching perspective. Uh, let's just come here. Show you this. Let's give these guys a bit of a whirl. See where, what your put down capability is like. Uh, where are you? Right. The range on this is 165 meters. So we're going to have to get above the gain and well, come in from above. You can actually see the drone slightly better. I emphasize the word slightly. Uh. I've lost the cursor. There it is. We've got a small zircosium deposit here. That's certainly going to be worth mining out. So we're just going to come in here and land on this slightly green landscape. I suppose the advantage of using the night vision is the fact that if there's any creatures around, they're going to show up a lot better than in the dark. So I'm just going to come here. Yeah, I suppose everything's a. Let me just a quick comparison. Um, yeah, I suppose the night vision is clearer. Um, some more power. Okay. Ah. okay we'll just can go in the or 162 degrees outside. Can't stay outside for long.
pull back. Where's the Zacosium? There it is, just ha. So we'll just get that. Get a bit closer. 49, 48, 47. That's probably about as close as I'm going to get. Just push me into the hole. Or the Zarkozium has disappeared, so we're going to have to scan the location. F4, let's do the hook. So that, five. And we're just going to. Yeah, we're going to have to drop. The... That's better. So we're just gonna drop. Yeah, it looks very much on lava planets. The mineral texture looks exactly the same because this is this grey again. Anyway, I'm just gonna mine out the Zarkosian and I'll be right back. I right, was just picking up the last few pieces of Zarkosian. Snag that out. That should be it. I'll just check. Pencil. Yep. And what do we get for that? Got 579 Zarkosian. We'll trash the stone. We don't need it. Um, power on. And off we go again. I don't feel the need to go back to the Pioneer just yet. I think we just want to keep exploring. Right, there's something down there, 2.2 kilometers away. Well, I'm certainly interested in that. So it's down in this direction here. We're slowly working our way down towards the Southern Pole. Let's go back to uh, night vision. Got a large minigun drone and a large plasma drone. So we'll just gain the height first before we go in. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm starting to feel that the Railgun is probably one of the better options in a anti-drone uh, kind of operational move. move. Uh, just get the range. Uh, get in from above. Get down to what's it? Range 199 meters. Um, get up close and personal. <laughs> get you. He's, I mean, he's rising to meet me. Okay. Got you. Where's your buddy? We got a crash transport front here. That could be a good source of uh, thrusters. Get in close and oops, it's gone behind that. I can't tell if I'm got him. Right, so what we'll do is we'll Skype back to. That's a gold deposit. Not really interested in gold. I think I've got quite a lot of gold already. So we'll just drop down, level off, ah, back up. 
or correction, reverse thrust. I'm just going to get in here. Back out of the way. Actually, why am I doing that? What I can do is come in here, level off. Just make sure I don't push myself off the top of the. Uh, uh, there we go. Take that. Bye bye. Looks like we got a few hostiles here, which we'll have to deal with. Uh, we'll just get in. Oh, so, haha. <laughs> uh, shove that in there. Wow. Okay. Um, go that way then. Just in case I knock myself off the top, just have a quick look now. I've got a feeling that is the ammunition that the Merc actually uses. Yes, it does. And we're, we're actually nearly out of plasma charges. That's pretty good. Uh, And we're actually out of railgun ammunition as well. Mm. So, let's just sort this round. That is the ammunition profile, if I remember correctly. Let's take a look. Yep, 130 millimeter MSLs, 15 railgun charges. Um, we can do with a little, little bit of oxygen dropped in as well. Use up some of that oxygen. Uh, I've got a feeling that the front crash transport doesn't have any, or doesn't have many thrusters on it. But we we could come across with the capital vessel and check that out. Uh, at the very least, it would give us a bit more um, building blocks for the carrier. Uh, let me just see. We're down here. We've got crash transport front. The Pioneer is here. I think if we... Uh, I'm, I'm aware time is pushing on. But I think what we'll do is we'll just kind of go uh, west a little bit. are dead there's some more resources over that way I think we'll just go check these resources and then that will be it for this part Right, we've just entered Xerax territory, not that it's really showing up that much in the map here. Um, so we got resources there. What is that? That looks a little bit more like a stealth outpost again. Let's just get in and see if this is... Right, we've got Promethium here. I would certainly wouldn't mind that Promethium. Just keep our nose to that's a recon relay okay um, does a recon relay have any defenses 
It doesn't look like it. But it does. Ha! Famous last words. And they're actually hitting us quite hard. Looks like they're actually quite short range as well. Uh, that is a job for the hover tank. Quite interesting the fact that the Prometheum is a long way away from this. I'm just wondering whether I can get in and do the Prometheum. The problem's going to be Xerox patrols. Now I think I'll leave the Prometheum because in the next part we'll come down here and do this recon relay. Let me just see anything else around here that's of any interest. Some resources over that way. So let me just go and check them. Right, this looks very much like this. Ah. This could be interesting. I think we got a whole convention here of drones. This way we got. It's very much like we got four of them. It's a bit difficult to tell. Um, can I take four down? Uh, this next thing looks like there might be more than four. Looks like there's five of them. And if I use the missiles. this large derelict ship oh no that's um okay <laughs> above hi i think we're going to use the missile clusters on this this time some not all of them are actually um large ones so, there's a plasma drone in there there's a large minigun drone okay Labels getting in the way. Um, right, it's only an estrum deposit, but missed him. Okay, ah, gain height. Um, right, I've got rid of him. So the quad missiles is if I can hit them that is uh, okay change to the rail guns I think we've done a lot of damage to these You guys are just a small lightweight, so. Ah. Gotcha. <laughs> uh. um, level off. Let's just go down and do a bit of looting. Uh. I'll just swoop in here. First, because you're the closest. Um. Um. Um, we'll just get in here. Um. Do we? We still got the link, so. You up, pick you up. Drop you on there, drop you on there. Uh, I'm going to take the plasma charges. Uh, um, getting close to you. Another mini gun drone. Um, click here. 
Okay, I'm just pick that up. Get into here. Let's have a quick look at the booty. Um, I'm just gonna. That can certainly go in there. It'll give me a bit more railgun ammunition. A bit more. Uh, 15 millimeter. And I think this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. So in the next part, we will certainly be down to take a look at this recon relay. But what I will do off cameras is take a quick look around this area and see if there's anything else of interest. I certainly want that Promethium. But until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.